Hey, welcome back. Got something in here today from our friends at Billet Spin EDC. You may have noticed I've been on a little bit of a pen kick lately. I've actually sold off quite a few knives, down about 30% from where I was at the peak. And uh, up like 300% uh, on the pen front. So <laughs> uh, this one definitely caught my eye. Been wanting to check out one of their pens in the Zerk. Found one on the website that was available. And uh, here we are. So let's see what we think. I, ha I have their titanium. Let's see, is it cam pen as well? And I've really, really liked this. So curious how I'm gonna like this zirconium version. It's gonna have a little more weight and be a little fancier. Definitely cost a lot more. The regular titanium one I just showed, oh, that was tight in there. Oof, that thing has got some serious weight to it. So this one was like 150, this guy 280, that's no joke. And I'll tell you the big criticism I have on this one was I really would have liked it with black hardware on it, but at the same time, this pops a little bit. So let's see what you think. Oh man, super smooth. Like this other one was already smooth. Let me compare them. Yeah, that one's smooth too. These are both super smooth. But man, Zerk is just impressive on the smoothness. So let's get a little weigh in here because that thing's got some heft to it. That's like the first thing I noticed is that's got some serious weight. I actually really like the weighting of that one. That would be my, my preferable probably all around weight. But at the same time, this guy's impressive. I think this is around 1.4 ounce. Look at that, 1.4 ounces on the button. It's a nice heft to it already, right? I'm guessing two. 1.925, 1.92 ounces. So yeah, that's a serious, uh, some serious weight to it right there. But man, that is really nice. So let's give you a little close up here on this guy. They do make these in lefty, by the way, if you want this on the other side. At the end of the day, when it's open, it's going to be in the middle either way, which is kind of cool. But you know, let's take a look at that cap on there. That's pretty nice. They do not leave uh, any details out at billet spin. This is impressive. Typical refill. Oh, it's a Parker. No? Oh, Energel? What do we got here? I don't know if this is like Energel or... Monoverde, huh? It's probably, looks like it's like Parker size, but maybe some off-brand or something. Yeah, that's a nice, nice pen. Probably not for everyone at that price category, but look at that polished Zerk. That's the only thing I think's nicer in Zerk is the Smooth Precision pens I've had have been extremely nice in zirconium those are the best ones i've ever seen but this is probably next in line in terms of pens that i've handled this is impressive but yeah i think as an all-arounder i'm gonna go towards the tie just worry about it a little less doesn't cost as much and it's still got a good heft to it at 1.4 ounces but it's like a premium pen man this thing feels nice you know, it kind of has that Mont Blanc kind of weight to it. I don't know exactly how much a Mont Blanc weighs, to be honest, but kind of what I would imagine. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, that's about it for this one. Uh, don't have too much more to say or do on this. I'll tell you the way that that bolt works makes it really nice for photographing so i'll be taking a nice photo of that <laughs> and of course they got this nice little leather slip they ship all their pens in which you know then you can kind of keep them protected in your drawer or whatever so i do appreciate that that's no no edge cut on that one um yeah all for now if you like the content please feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care